Here you can see the open software. You either choose from a project which you already begun, a safe template, or from one of the three standard settings. We chose one of the standard settings. The default template always looks the same. In the rectangular room we have a camera, a flash with a reflector and a white background. The model Tina is already posing for you. A lot of control panels are around the main studio frame. Let's start with the top left in the menu bar. I show you step by step each function clockwise. We kept the menu bar simple. Here you find three menu points. File, Settings and Help. Under the menu point File, you can start new projects, open or save them and you can exit the program. Here you can also export and import your personal user settings. Under the Settings tab you can change the language settings from English to German or French. There you can also delete the user settings. But most important in this menu are the quality settings. By clicking on it a window opens with these three fields. Studio quality, render quality and rendering resolution. The studio quality settings enables you to decide how good the quality should be while you build your setup. With a high quality setting you can see small details already in the preview mode. Depending on the performance of your computer, high quality settings increase the calculation time significantly. The settings should be adjusted to your hardware. Important to know is that back reflections from walls and reflectors are only fully displayed in high studio quality settings. Also, only when all reflections are rendered they are shown beautifully. So we recommend to render the images to evaluate your light correctly. Just like the studio quality, you can also adjust the render quality. It describes the relationship between speed and quality. The render quality is responsible for the quality of the rendered pictures. The higher you set the quality here, the better the light calculations are. Your pictures will look more detailed and realistic. But keep in mind, the higher the quality is set, the longer it takes to render. We came up with a great idea which should help you to stay focused on not to be interrupted by the rendering process. More on that later in the camera section. The setting Rendering Resolution allows you to set the render resolution. Here you decide which resolutions your pictures should have. You have the choice between 800 pixels, 1200 pixels or 1600 pixels.